protective styling is the main thing like leave your hair alone So I'm guessing you clicked on this video because you guys saw my thumbnail and you're probably like, hmm, Kim, where's the natural hair? Don't click off the video just yet. And while you're at it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Because, you know, we drop gems here on the channel and we want to make sure we keep growing. But it came to me in a shower. Obviously, I was going to make this video. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen. I posted in my Instagram story. I'm going to put a little clip up here of me trying to give you guys tips on how I grew my natural hair to be 18 inches. But before we get into the video, if you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Kim. Um, I run a beauty, fashion, and lifestyle channel called Kim's Life Vlogs. If you're a returning supporter, thank you for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. You know, help me grow. Um, I did actually take notes, and I kind of forgot about the notes until just now when I started filming this video. But the reason that I'm in a wig, and if you look up close, the wig looks, I don't want to say it looks crazy. It looks good, but like the lace... If you've been here, you already know, all my wigs are glueless. Now, can I glue them on? Yes, but my preference is glueless wigs. Now, the reason I'm in a wig for a video about natural hair is because this is one of the, if not the main reason that my hair was able to grow as long as it grew. So a few years back, I had a natural hair horror story. I lost a third of my hair, it prompted me to do a big chop, and I started wearing wigs. And uh, in doing that, I noticed that I was not messing with my hair, playing in my hair, you know, as they'll kind of say, or manipulating my hair as much. And that has enabled my hair to grow tremendous lengths. I don't ever remember my hair being this long. So wigs are my number one. Glueless wigs at that are my number one. Um, I see a lot of influencers on here that do hair. And this is not trying to be shady, but their edges be ate up. And I know that's from like glue and installs or, or adhesive spray. It's not good. If you're going to wear a wig, wear a glueless wig. So that is the number one tip to growing your hair long and healthy. The other thing that you can do is protective styling. And obviously my go-to protective styling is wigs. Um, my hair is usually in braids underneath and I just slap a glueless wig on um, I notice and when I say protective styling the longer whatever works or whoever it works for the better for me I used to wash my hair once a week religiously and then do a breakdown and put underneath my wigs and then somewhere along the way one week became two weeks two weeks became three weeks and after I realized I was losing the same amount of hair no matter how often I wash my hair, I'm like, since my hair is excessively shedding anyway, I might as well just do once a month. <laughs> Sounds nasty, but I wash my hair 12 times a year and it has definitely been helping. Um, so the less manipulation, the better protective styling. So my wash days consist of a three hour process. Um, I'm not sure if I have the video listed. If I do, I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. It's an entire process that I do. Um, every time I wash my hair, I do deep condition my hair because that also helps. But protective styling is the main thing. Like, leave your hair alone. The other thing that um, <laughs> helped me is uh, after losing my hair, so what happened? I'll give you guys a little bit of a backstory so you guys can understand me because you might be new here. Um, if I have pictures, I'll put them up here. If, not if I have them, if I can find them because it's been quite some time. Um, <laughs> so I used to go to, you know, get my hair blown out by the Dominicans. If you've ever had your hair blown out by the Dominicans, they do a phenomenal job of getting your natural hair to be straight and remain straight. So I'd had that treatment a few times and in doing that, um, I was like, oh, well, my sister told me about this little mask and vinegar in it. I'm going to do that day before I go. Well, <laughs> big mistake. Did that, went the next day. I literally cooked my hair. Um, so after that experience, cause I was using heat in my hair like every now and again before that, but after that I was like I'm completely done with heat so if you want to maintain long healthy hair I know for some of us we'd like to see what our hair looks like straight I would say do not use heat on your hair 
uh, no blow dryer, no curling irons, no flat irons, no hot combs, no nothing. Trust me when I tell you it makes a difference. I was not aware until like looking back at some of the pictures that I did actually low key had heat damage. Not from them, but just from myself um, and just didn't even realize it. So no heat is going to be tip number two, three. I kind of feel like one and two kind of mesh together. So we're going to call this two, three. <laughs> um, the next thing that I would also recommend that made a significant difference on me being able to retain length is that before that process happened, um, I was like, oh, well, my hair doesn't need anything. I legit would wash my hair and put nothing in it. And then there were times where I was like blow drying my hair all the time. Can you imagine? I was literally just like crisping my hair up. So moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Now. I typically use coconut oil first because coconut oil is a carrier oil so it tends to help other oils um, carry moisture to your hair, to your skin, whatever it is you're using it for. Um, but the other tip that I have is I have, and I'm going to link everything down below and everything can be also found in my Amazon storefront, but I have an oil mixture that I use. Um, one thing that is almost, what's the word I'm looking for, inevitable that it's going to happen is that when you wash your face your hairline is going to get wet. And, you know, the purpose of like shampoo um, is to break down the harsh chemicals that are in water because water is, you know, you know what it is. Um, in addition to that, um, when you wet wash your hair, you do also want to replenish that moisture. So when you're washing your face and you're not putting back those oils in your hairline, your hairline, you might say, oh, you know, I got baby hair. Whatever works for whoever it works for. I don't think there's such a thing as baby hair. Um, it's called broken hairs for me. Um, so when you're washing your face, typically you'll have like those broken hairs. So, you know, every other day, put some oil in your hand, rub it on the front of your hair, rub it on the back of your head. Um, you would not believe how much of a difference that makes um, in retaining length in those areas because no longer, your hairs are no longer going to be dry and brittle to where they break off. So that's really it when it comes to me being able to take care of my hair, have it retain length, you know, outside of, like I said, of me just doing my regular wash day routine where I do deep condition and I also do aloe. Those are like the main tips. I don't want to make this video too long. I would really wanted it just to be short and to the point. And I'm going to preface. Y'all not be saying words. And in my mind, it sounds like it's the right word. If it's the wrong word, I'll put the wrong, the right word on the screen. But um, I want to preface this by saying, like, I know a lot of influencers will say, you know, grow your hair this long by doing this, grow your hair. And I really hate seeing that because everyone's hair grows at a different pace. Um, these tips, however, should help you to retain whatever length your hair does grow to um, as long as you follow it through. So most important thing is just leave your hair alone. Um, but that is all that I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like, again, comment, subscribe, share, you know, help your girl grow, uh, help me reach more people. But that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.